So here's a push-up slash plank variation that I love to do personally. Um, it's a little bit challenging, but I think some of you are definitely up for that challenge. So I'm going to show you first and then just talk you through a couple of tips for it. So again, as I have said before, my wrists get really bad tendonitis, so I do most of my push-ups on my fists, which I'll show you today. You can, of course, do this with your wrists in flexion if that's comfortable, okay? So regular push-up position. Start in your full arm plank, feet wherever you'd like them to be, wide or narrow. You take your push-up. Then you're gonna bring one leg through and lift the hand on the same side. Now, you have the option here of doing a row with a rotation so you activate those obliques. But if you're also getting a nice stretch on that extended leg in the back, hip flexor here. Then what you're gonna do is shoot this leg back out to your plank. This arm is gonna go forward. So you're in a three point balance and then repeat and go to the other side. So from here, you'll shoot the leg out, balance, and then put it down. Now notice how my other foot picked up to counterbalance. That's actually a development of the exercise if you want to try it. For me, that was just a mistake, but it can become a development. So let's go on to the next side. There we go. Good. So as with all planks and all push-ups, it is a core exercise mainly. Adding that lunge, like I said, adds a stretch to the hip flexor, challenges the core because that's what's helping to bring your knee in, and it's also challenging your core as you're taking the leg out, and because you're trying to stabilize the balance in that three-point balance. So add that one in as a variation on your planks, variation on your push-ups, you don't even have to do the push-up if you don't want to. Do just the lunge in three-point plank. Change it up. Variations are key to keeping your body from plateauing. Good luck.